Hey, NAA football fans, that sucked. Hey, NAI football fans, Corey Thorpe here with another edition of the NAIF Ball. Uh, well, it would be a live show, except I'm not quite live tonight. Uh, we are getting ready to leave for Durham, so we uh, have an interview for you tonight. So we hope you enjoy that. Thank you real quick to our sponsors, AdCraft Sports, uh, AdCraft Custom Merch and Apparel. Since 1974, they've been your custom apparel, merch, and uniform experts. You can see them on ESPN3 as their beautiful uniforms will be displayed on the backs of the Grandview Vikings. You can go see how well the Grandview fans are outfitted from head to foot in Viking gear. Check them out. If you want to see your fans that way, if you want to have beautiful uniforms like Grandview does, check them out at adcraftusa.com. And also for Mommy Bay and Turf Nation, our friends in the turf business, they're doing some great work. Still in the um, still in the baseball side of things for right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the interview. All right, NAI football fans, we have a real treat for you tonight. We have Marcus Manning. He's the executive director of the Durham Sports Commission. Now, what the Durham Sports Commission does is it creates economic and social impact by leading the community's efforts to attract, support, and promote sporting and recreational events from all ages, whether you're youth all the way up through adults. Marcus Manning, welcome to the NAIAF Ball Show. How are you doing tonight? Corey, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Talk to me real quick about, about what you mean by creating economic and especially social impact. Yeah, so, and that's a great question, Corey, and, and starting with the social impact, uh, really wrapping our arms around the Durham community uh, through sport, supporting local event owners, uh, supporting local um, sporting events, uh, providing grants and incentives to um, local um, programs in the, in the community. And so uh, we can do that through sport, and it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to really connect uh, with the community through sport. And then uh, I noticed that you worked a lot with Discover Durham and some of the, uh, you know, kind of governmental in entities there in yes. Durham. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that partnership. Yeah, absolutely. So we're we're operated by Discover Durham, and Susan Amy is our president and CEO, and she's a she's a great leader, and uh, really puts us in a position to be successful as a sports commission. And the sports commission itself is, is part of an interlocal agreement uh, with Discover Durham, uh, the Durham Chamber, Durham City, and Durham County. And so that's how it's formed and that's how we're, we're funded. And so it's really a great partnership between all of those entities. Well, talk to me real quick then. Tell me a little bit about Durham. You know, you, you know some cities have a very striking moniker. I mean, the, the one that really comes to mind is, is Austin, Texas. Keep Austin weird. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and, so, and so that's, that's really what I think about. Even honestly, before I even think about Texas, the Texas Longhorns being in Austin, when I hear Austin, I think weird. Um, yeah. So talk to me a little bit about, about Durham and what Durham is, is like. Yeah. So Durham um, is great from the standpoint of uh, the ecosystem. It's a, uh, it has a great art scene, festivals, um, a variety of different museums. The food scene is great, along with, of course, the sports scene. And so when you have all of that combined, um, it, it makes for a great uh, ecosystem. It makes for a great city. And so Durham is thriving, uh, it's growing, and that's where we're excited to have both the Senior football class again the NAIA championship coming to Durham. It's definitely going to be going to be fun. I love having them in the in the southeast. We talked about it. I'm I'm in Florida here, so that's a that's a short flight. I'm I'm actually really looking forward to taking Southwest 
to a football game and, and you know, not the, the folks whose name stands for delivering every living thing to Atlanta. Um, talk to me a bit about like the association with, with Raleigh. I mean, it, it, you two are like joined at, at the hip. Is, is that something y'all try to embrace or is that something that you're kind of your own entities or, or what? Yeah, Durham's Durham. You know, we, we, we embrace that. Um, we were proud to be Durham. Uh, Raleigh is our neighbor and, and they're, uh, they're great as well. And they do a great job uh, in Raleigh on, on a variety of different fronts. Um, but we're, we're Durham and, and we're proud to be Durham. And uh, we feel like we have a lot going for ourselves uh, in Durham in a lot of different ways. And so, but the Triangle region as a whole, Corey, is, is phenomenal. And um, you see that when you, when you come here, and I've been fortunate, I've been here a little over a year now, and, and just being a part of this ecosystem is great. But I can tell you, uh, when you come to Durham, um, you're gonna see uh, a lot of different things. You're gonna get to experience a lot of different things. And, and uh, so I can't wait for you to come down. Talk to me a, a little bit about a, just a quick overview on the calendar of events as uh, what, what fans can expect when they get to Durham surrounding the game itself. Yeah, so for this year, due to COVID, um, there won't be a lot of different type of um, activities um, that we'll have for, uh, for fans. Um, so this year, uh, we won't expect a lot of that. What I can tell you, is that um, especially in the downtown area, we have American Tobacco Campus. Um, we have a lot of great restaurants in the downtown area um, to visit. And so um, just the walkabout around downtown is, uh, is phenomenal. And so I encourage uh, fans um, to really take advantage of that scene. And tell me a little bit about the stadium itself. I know we're in the municipal Stadium. Tell me a little bit, a bit about its history and what what we can expect from that venue. Durham County Memorial Stadium seats around 8,500. Uh, it's received some upgrades over the years. Uh, Zach Pritchett is their uh, operations manager, their stadium manager. He's done a phenomenal job since I've been here and really play, played an integral part in the uh, in the process uh, to get the NAI to to bring a championship to Durham. And so um, I think it's a great location to host a championship event. And so we're excited to, to see that happen. Lots of room for tailgating, I imagine. Absolutely. Yes, can't, sir. Can't wait. That's always fun to go to go look around. I, I remember when it was uh, down in Daytona Beach um, a few years ago, and uh, we had Morningside Benedictine playing. And um, I tell you what, Benedictine as a Catholic university, boy, they were having fun over there. <laughs> they were they were having a ball, uh, so we, we'll we'll see what the what the tailgating scene is like for both. So really, the the main reason I I brought you on is as as someone who lives in Durham, you know, I'm I'm interested in kind of the things to do, where to what to see, where to go, uh, sort of that stuff. So why don't we start with what are some great places to go and visit when we're in Durham. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I definitely would check out American Tobacco Campus, uh, especially during the holiday time, Corey. It's uh, right across from Durham Bulls Stadium. Um, and so Durham Bulls Athletic Park. So check that out. Uh, you get a chance to, um, to see the lights. You can, um, you can take a picture under the Durham sign. So that uh, that will be great to do. Uh, also Research Triangle Park. Um, they have um, a, a great area there uh, as well uh, where you can, you can go and experience. Uh, the Museum of Life and Science is right across the street from the, the stadium. And so that's another place where uh, if, you're, if you're into that, uh, that would be a great place to, uh, to visit as well. So we have a lot of different places uh, in Durham that you can definitely um, check out. And again, um, the downtown area is a great place to um, just walk around. There's a great um, Durham food hall um, right down the street from the, uh, the downtown Marriott. Um, so a lot of different places within the food hall to, to go and, and check out. So 
different places and different different things to see for sure. One thing I did notice while uh, prepping was that both, or not both, they both have games, but one's not in town. Duke has a home game, a home <laughs> basketball game. I yes. think the Wednesday of that week. If if we have some folks that are some that that are a little, uh, you know, bit of hoops fans, you know, nothing wrong with that. Tell me about the best way to to get uh, tickets there if they want to uh, see if they can get uh, a seat at Cameron Indoor. Yeah, you know, the best way to do it is to is to go online and try to um, and try to get a ticket. It, it's tough, you know. Coach K's last last Ooh, season. That's right, I forgot about um, that. <laughs> but Ooh. definitely try to go online and, and 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 try to get some tickets. But it is a definitely a probably the the toughest ticket in town for sure. At least it's Appalachian State. I mean, <laughs> I might have a shot there. It's it's App State. Um, that's. That, that's actually Thursday, December 16th. Um, not even, <laughs> I'll have to see if tickets are available. That, that might be someplace I might have to go. Um, I've, I've had a couple of, of friends of, of mine that lived in Durham for a little bit and uh-huh. uh, had, some, had some places that they wanted to go um, or, or that they said that I should go to. But let's, let's, talk, let's talk food. That is that is definitely I am I am very food motivated, um, and and of course there's there's way different there's different things that that you might want to get, um, you know it's it's not as simple as last year in in Louisiana you know you're going to get the Cajun food you got to find your Cajun food place I think maybe for North Carolina um, where are we getting the best North Carolina style barbecue? <laughs> I had a feeling that would be the first first question so um for for me and it's and it's right downtown um, the pit is awesome uh it's a it's a um uh, a great place the ribs are 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 phenomenal along with the brisket and their sides um the mac and cheese uh is great so let's let's start right there talk about language Um, (laughs) ribs brisket and mac and cheese the way to my heart the, uh, the the second best place in my opinion um, is Q Shack, uh, bar another barbecue place. Um, again, uh, I think the ribs and the brisket are, are great. Um, their baked beans are, are are really good. So I'm um, just throwing that out there. The Q Shack is uh, probably 10, 10 minutes away from downtown, uh, and the pit is right downtown. I have never been. Um pointed wrong to a restaurant that serves barbecue that has in its name the word shack that is almost almost a requirement for good barbecue some of the best barbecue i've had has been out of out of shacks to be quite honest with you i'm not i'm not not joking um i've heard something about um dame's chicken and waffles now now i've never had chicken and waffles before Tell uh, tell me about about Dame's chicken and waffles. So my wife and I have had Dame's chicken and waffles, uh, and it's great. I'm telling you, and it's it's right next door. They have a they have a restaurant downtown, and it's next door to the food hall. So um, I will let you know that it's uh, it's a great place. Uh, I've had it, and, and you cannot go wrong. Best place. Um... To, to pick up a, a quick a quick meal, preferably local. American Tobacco Campus, Parker and Otis. They have great sandwiches. Uh, my favorite sandwich is the shrimp BLT. Uh, it's the number nine, and uh, they give you so much shrimp that it 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 falls off the sandwich. So if you're looking for something quick, Parker and Otis, American Tobacco Campus. Nice uh, sit down meal. Nice sit down meal. Um, I tell you what, Bull McKay Irish Pub. Um, they have a great place where you can go outside and um, um, sort of space out a little bit, um, and, that, and it's great food there. And um, you know, some of our some of our folks might uh, might enjoy a, a adult beverage. Uh, you know, a college town. 
like Durham, I'm sure has has a, a couple of the dives, but um, uh, you know the the microbrewery scene. I know around around here in in Florida is is definitely exploded. Uh, what are some of the best places to relax and, and enjoy adult, an adult beverage? Yeah, you, you have a few different places, but what I would do is is uh, I wouldn't name any any one specific place, but in that downtown area right by the the food hall uh, you have a couple of different places that i would check out and also within the food hall you have a couple spots so uh, definitely in that in that area yeah you can tell by my line of questioning i i i'm ex- this is how i plan my my trips <laughs> you know we, we find a couple of places to go see we know what we're going to go do but dad gummit we're planning our itinerary ab- around what the heck we're going to eat um <laughs> You know, another another couple of, of uh, one of the big things that when I when I booked my hotel, I looked down the road and I went, oh, yes, yes, yes. We are we're in the right spot here is uh, a very short distance from my hotel. We have what is called a cookout. <laughs> and I don't I don't even know if they have one in Columbia, Kentucky for Lindsey Wilson. I know good and well they don't have any of these in in Iowa. That's that's one place I'm I'm looking forward to. We don't have them. We don't have them in Florida. Uh, cookout is is cheap, cheap fast food. And um, for for my money, uh, if you're going to be in North Carolina, you got to have cheer wine while you're here. What do you th- What do you think about cheer wine? What's your opinion on the cheer wine? Well, let's 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 go back to, to cookout. Are, are you a big Hamburger fan or hot dog fan oh, yeah. or, or, or both? Oh, I, I, I love it all. I mean, the thing I love most about cookout is it's like you get this and this and this. And holy cow, you get this much in a combo? Yes. Um, and the variety is great, too, man. I, I, I love, you know, the, the hamburgers. I'm not as big on hot dogs. I've, I've never had the, their barbecue like chicken or, uh, or pulled pork before, but I know they've got it. They've got such a huge variety. And and have you ever had one of their shakes? I haven't. I need to because I, I'm, I'm I hear that uh, again. The cheer wine shake is is phenomenal, and and I know I've got to try it, but I have not had one of their shakes. So to, if you get a chance, try one of their shakes, um, and and you will not be disappointed. Will not be disappointed. Now to the to the cheer wine. Uh, never heard of cheer wine. But I got to Durham and uh, our neighbor gave us, I think, a small six pack of cheer wine. And Corey, I'm telling you, it, it's uh, it may be better than cherry Coke. It is better than cherry Coke. <laughs> I, I love cherry Coke and I love wild cherry Pepsi, but dadgum, <laughs> cheer wine is it tops them all. I've I had a friend before he moved moved away. Um, whenever we would go to North Carolina, we would bring each other back a case of cheer wine. Yeah. Uh, so, so that we would could have it there. Anything else that we should we should see and do around around the area? You know, we're gonna be we're gonna be tourists here for a couple days. So, uh, where um, you know maybe if if we're into some of the outdoorsy stuff, um, I know you've got you know, some, some recreation areas and, and a state park that's right up the road. T- uh, talk to me about just some other things to do while we're in Durham. Yeah, absolutely. We have American Tobacco Trail, um, which is, which is uh, you know, a 12 mile stretch, uh, scenic. You can, you can run, walk, bike. Um, and so I think that's something that you definitely want to experience right by the stadium. You have Rock Quarry Park right there. Um, and so you can you can definitely get a chance to uh, experience that as well, um, and and you just have a, a host of other areas within Durham that you can um, that you can take advantage of. And so uh, if you get the chance, definitely definitely do that. I will also say, Corey, uh, you know, get a chance to walk around uh, NCCU North Carolina Central. Uh, it's historic. Um, it's a great, um, a great institution here in Durham, along with, uh, Duke university as well. So get a, get a chance to walk around those campuses. If you like to walk college campuses, 
both of those college campuses, I think would be great for you to, to check out if you have the time. Yeah, and um, and and now that you mentioned that, everyone always thinks about Duke. No one, no one thinks about NCCU. I'm just go check the the basketball schedule. I mean, their basketball coach is a living legend. I mean, how crazy is it that two legendary coaches in in their specific worlds um, are are right there in Durham? Lavelle Moton is a legend in in that sort of HBCU uh, men's basketball field. Yeah, and, and just overall, Corey, uh, you know, again, the sports ecosystem here is phenomenal. If you think about um, the two leaders of the athletic departments uh, at Duke, you have Nina King, and at North Carolina Central, you have uh, Ingrid uh, Wicker McCree, and um, they're two power brokers in the world of intercollegiate athletics, and they're right here in our backyard. So to have them, uh, and then also the Durham Bulls, a pretty successful minor league baseball team here. Uh, and then also the, the high school scene here is, is phenomenal as well. So uh, it, it's exciting to be a part of. I mean, how many other cities have a Hollywood feature film that talks about their particular minor league club? <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you got, you got Bull Durham here. And, and just, for, just for equal opportunity here, uh, if you can't get the Duke ticket, you know, NCCU does have a game against Gardner Webb on uh, Wednesday, December fifteenth. That I'm sure would be a great one to check out as well. But thank you, thank you so much, uh, Marcus Manning from the Durham Sports Commission, for joining me tonight. I look forward to to seeing you and the rest of the the Durham sports folks in um, when we're taping this, uh, just in about two-ish weeks or so when we when we actually are airing this it'll be about a about a week the folks will be making their itineraries but thank you for joining me tonight appreciate your time appreciate you coming on to talk Corey. i can't thank you enough for having me looking forward to meeting you in person uh, i can't wait to uh for you to let me know when you uh when you experience some durham food here so looking forward to that this has been the NAI F-Ball Not Quite Live show, sponsored and powered by AdCraft Custom Apparel and Merch. Guys, we are so excited about being able to see y'all in Durham. If you are a Morningside or a Grandview fan and you're going to be there and you see me, 100%. Come, come up, say hi. It is one of the coolest things ever to be able to meet folks who know what we do and appreciate what we do. So with that, we will see y'all hopefully on the last stop on the road to Durham.